what we have the amazing Dr. Sarah Merritt, who is also here to share with us. Dr. Merritt, are you able to unmute yourself? Yes. Can you hear me? I can. Thank you. You can go ahead and let okay. us know about you. Uh, hi, I'm a an EBS veteran. Uh, I think I've been <laughs> in the school since 2021. And um, my name is Sarah Merritt. I'm the CEO of Lifestream Health Center. We're in Bowie, Maryland, and we're striving to make pain management more caring, accessible, patient-centric, and evidence-based. Um, so I, I had a private practice when I joined EBS. And um, I sensed that um, I would be in the same place a year from the enrollment time if I did not do something different. Mm -hmm. um, and maybe we've all sensed this about ourselves that we, you know, kind of rise to a certain level on our own, right? This is a group of like high achieving people. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, there was a level of success that I was able to rise to on my own. And, and, and look, I had a seven figure plus business when I joined EBS, mm -hmm. but I was having a hard time. Uh, I was not having a lot of fun and um, it was probably, it was really not sustainable. Um, it was really not sustainable. And so I joined the business school and uh, I I'm a little bit of a slow student, you know, <laughs> I would say, uh, I've been in the school and I probably, uh, I would share that, you know, if you're thinking about joining the business school, you know, bring your enthusiasm, bring, um, your willingness to engage because I was, I think really slow to, um, prioritize it and, uh, where I, I want it, uh, in my, um, life and in my um, thought process as, as a CEO. So uh, I joined the business school. I've had some slow um, progress, but I really have made a lot of progress. And about the time I joined the business school, I had hired a doctor. That turned out not to be a great hire. But um, despite, you know, challenges of uh, having a doctor, you know, that has left my practice. Um, I'm actually at a point where um, I have some some big, um, tangible wins that I I just want to share that have evolved, you know, during my time in, in EBS. So my practice is a a pain management practice, um, and if we look at our numbers right now, um, year to date in 2023, we're up 17 percent for total revenue. Mm -hmm over okay. last year. And I'm not paying an extra doctor. Wow. So like that's, that's a, a that's a lot of profit. <laughs> right? Yeah, so uh and and so then I I got to thinking about, you know, well what does that mean, you know, in terms of of earnings and everything? And so if I look at, you know, on my profit and loss statement, you know, what's the bottom line profit, which includes my salary, what I pay. And, you know, frankly, if, if you're a business owner, you have to leave some money in the business, right? I yeah. don't take every penny home. Mm -hmm. It's not realistic for the health of my business. Um, you know, and so unlike that W-2 person who just has their nice W-2, you know, I have this, this business and this asset, right. That I'm, that I'm building. Um, and so I do leave some money in it. And so even if we stopped the year right now, uh, I did a little Google searching. If we stopped the year right now, based on our profitability that includes what I'm paying myself, I would be in the 90th percentile for my specialty. Wow. And we've got a couple months left. Wow. We need to give you a big round of applause. That's fantastic. Thank you. And I'm and that, so glad that you took the time to figure that out. That's yeah, huge. 90th percentile. I know. Um, and that doesn't include the fact that I own my practice real estate. Okay. And that doesn't include Dr. Patel, you a own cash the base part of our practice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, she yeah, says she's are... slow. How many of you are saying she's not a slow student? <laughs> she may be quiet, but she's not slow. I had a, I had y'all. Mm, I had a really rough. Uh, Look at all the comments. You've gotten the, you've gotten all the excitement tonight. <laughs> yeah. That's a yeah. Um. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, so yeah, we have some revenue wins, you know, we're, 
you know, we are doing well, the business is healthy. Um, and that's vital to it being able to carry on. Right. And, and I have to be healthy. Um, my non-revenue wins, I would say, um, I've been out of the country, um, three times in the last 18 months that, uh, yeah, I, um, had, 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 have had travel with my family and one was actually for a, a medical fundraiser and, um, you know, has, have had some great opportunities to, um, travel, uh, and I've been able to engage with that. And I, you know, I don't have to really ask anyone permission to, to leave. Um, and, and I work like three and a half to four clinical days a week. Right. Like, so it's, um, you know, I, the, I do long days, but, uh, I work three and a half to four days a week, not five. Um, what are my other, uh, wins? Um, yeah. And I think the other big win that I would just share is, you know, I, I just see private practice as so much more sustainable by being in EBS, um, you know, because it's challenging. It's like a lonely place to be. Um, you know, you may have your staff and I have good people on my staff, but but there's just nothing like the um, connection mm -hmm. that we have uh, among um, the various physician you know, business owners that we're all, you know, whether we're coaching or in private practice or speaking, you know, we are all having this entrepreneurial mindset uh, and th that we all have a connection, obviously, as, as physicians as well. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I think if you are um, thinking about the business school and you're not sure, I would think about where you might be in a year and you know, how will it be on your own versus how might it be in a community like EntreMD Business School? And uh, for me, um, the community um, has been just the best. Thank you so much for sharing that, Dr. Merritt. That is unbelievable. I know Dr. Mitra is clapping. We're all clapping for you. What a great, great year you've had. And all this time you've been in the school, I just love the fact that you've been 100% engaged um, you came into the school already with a seven figure practice. I mean, you could have easily said, what is Dr. Una going to teach me? I, you know, I've, I, I know, you know, I've gotten myself to this point, but right. you're still hungry and you're still humble and you're still coachable, which has made all the difference in the world. So even though you were profitable, then you're so much more profitable now. Yes. And not only that, there's people with seven figure practices who aren't able to walk away from them and go, go away three times a year. Mm -hmm. So you're able to balance that. You're able to get the the, um, the mindset changes and the and the changes, the systems within the practice to give you that time. And then three days a week with seven figures. Yeah, three and a half. Three and a half. Well, we're just going to count the three. We're not thinking about. Yeah, I didn't topic. work Wednesday. I was not clinical <laughs> Wednesday. I mean, I I did some things, right? Yeah. I did some CEO things, yeah. but I did them from my house. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's it's amazing. Yeah, we are very, we are very excited for you. And, and, um, and like that, like Dr. Merritt said, look at yourself a year from now. If you want to see, if you want to see a difference in, in your life, you have to do something differently.